Okay, so you've seen an amazing streamer who has a great background with an amazing camera setup, or maybe you've seen somebody with a green screen with tons of versatility and stuff that you wanna implement on your stream. Well, before you pick one of those things or before you change, I have a third option that you might really enjoy. So stick around and I'll show you how to do it. So just an FYI, if you want to skip right to the meat and potatoes, I'll leave a timestamp down in the description, uh, but uh, you should watch the whole video. It's good stuff. Okay, so let's start off with a little bit about me. My name's Josh. I run a gaming stream on Twitch called Fat Guy Fun Time. I've been streaming for about a year and a half. I'm super into tech, I'm super into gaming, and I love hanging out with people. So streaming just kind of came naturally. I've added a lot of interactive things to my stream over the last few months, like graphics, and interactive lights and i came up with something the other day that i kind of wanted to share with you guys because i thought it was pretty awesome uh but before i get started uh, again fat guy fun time i stream on twitch every monday wednesday and friday at uh, 9 p.m around there i just put the thing up it should have popped up hopefully oh geez <laughs> this is my first youtube instructional video so bear with me i'm gonna do some editing post of this post production whatever all right here we go so um, so I started off uh, my stream with uh, with a green screen, and I did that because I had limited space. Um, I saw Doctor Disrespect's stream; I loved it. I thought that was so cool that I that I could use a green screen to put myself in front of a game. I wanted to know how to do it, so that's what I did, and I did it poorly. By the way, um, I started off with the background removal software. Um, that, that's horrible. Okay, um, and then I put up a makeshift green screen, and I did enough of it. That I was, I, it looked okay, uh, but I had the lighting completely wrong. And then I started watching a, a lot of other Twitch streamers and going on YouTube and, and checking out some people who actually know what they're talking about. And I took some of their advice. Um, one of the guys that you've probably seen already, his name's Harris Heller, and, and he talked a lot about having a background and how it can really bring your audience into the into the stream with you. It can tell a story about you as a streamer. And uh, if you're like me, you can even use tech to kind of make it interactive with like the lights I showed you earlier, right? So my chat can actually control the lights in my stream. So um, one of the things I missed though is, I, I, the, the background was for sure the way to go for me. But one of the things I missed was when I was doing uh, gaming, the, the webcam for me, the webcam box for me that was on the game, it always just took up too much. So then I would make it smaller. And then I thought, uh, you don't see me at all. And I like seeing me. I don't know. I think that's part of the stream. Um, so I wanted both. I wanted to go back to the green screen, but I didn't want to lose the, 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 the background. I didn't want to lose the interactive background that I had built and even have a little bit of a brand with. So I came up with some different options. Okay. Um, and, and they're not great by the way. Okay. Option one, camera angles, camera one over here and a green screen over here, and then camera two over here and a background over here, uh, switch between the two. That way I can have a green screen behind me on the one angle and a background on the other angle. It sucked. I couldn't pull it off. I don't have the room to do it. I'm not smart enough to get the angles, right? Failure. Option B, I installed a rail. There's a rail behind me, like it, you would see in like an emergency room. And to that rail, I have attached a green screen. That green screen can slide back and forth really, really quickly. So what I was actually trying to do between transitions was slide the green screen. And it never was able to, I was never able to pull it off um, quickly enough. So people just saw the green screen sliding and then me fixing it to make it look okay. And it was failure. <sighs> just awful. Anyway, and then one night while trying to fix the green screen on the slidey thing, I came up with a third option. And here it is. So I'm using two cameras and I'm using two different backgrounds. One camera is now pointed at me with a green screen behind me, okay? In another room, I have my other camera pointed at my actual background, the background that has the interactive lights that are flashing right now. Okay, so let me put some graphics up here. So camera one is like layer one. That's the background. That's the camera in the other room displaying my live background. Then I'm gonna take camera two, the camera that has the photo of me and the green screen. I'm gonna put that on top of camera one in OBS. And then I'm going to apply a chroma key filter. 
that's going to give the effect of me being in front of camera number one. That's going to be a scene for me. It's just that easy. So the effect that I get is that I'm in front of my live background. People can still interact with that background if they want. It still tells my story. They see my equipment. Hey, phrase it. This way, the equipment, right? They see my my logo and stuff, right? This is what I this is what I want. But when I want to go to a game and I want to make me minimal, I push a button. I push the button and here I am. I'm little. I'm a hello. I'm in the corner. This is great. If I'm feeling froggy and I want to go big and I want to be like, hey, look at me, here I am, right? I could do this. And also, just for some reason, if I want to skip over to like having a wet little webcam thing again, I can do that too. The options are kind of endless here. It gives you a lot more flexibility in the way that you stream and the scenes that you set up. Okay, so now that you have the basics down, there's one more thing I want to show you. On a lot of streams out there, you'll see some streamers have uh, them in focus and their background blurred. They call it the bokeh effect. And you use cameras and lenses with narrow depths of field to, to accomplish this. And it, it looks amazing, right? So let me show you what you can do just by tweaking the focus on the camera that's focused on your live background. Just tweak it a little bit and you can get some of these effects that you're seeing right now. You can keep it sharp, have what I like, the slight blur or go crazy blurry, right? You'll stand out of the background. It's up to you. Remember, if you have a Logitech camera, when you're adjusting that, that focus, make sure you do it in the G Hub so it saves the settings. If you do it in OBS, it'll keep resetting every time you start back up. Okay, and I think that's everything. So if I miss anything and you have any questions, feel free to reach out in the comments, okay? And I have one question for you guys. If I make another video, would you like it to be about graphics like this? <laughs> Or would you like it to be about my smart lights that are interactive with my chat? Um, leave a comment down there. Let me know. Um, and if you did like the video, hit the subscribe button and the like button. It really helps me out. I appreciate it. And as always, you have a great time. I'm going to go play some video games. Peace. I hit him. I downed him. I downed him. You oh, my God. That just happened. Oh, shit.